Hi everybody. Welcome to the Messy Cook by Dale. We are continuing in our series of Oscar winning movie recipes. And I can you guess what this is from? What movie this is from? Dan, you know already, I think. Write it in the comments below and I'll give you a couple of seconds. Um, it's an Oscar winning movie, like I said. It is directed by Martin Scorsese, starring the late, great Ray Liotta and Paul, Paul Sorvino. Uh, Robert De Niro, Joe Pesci, Lorraine Bracco. You got it? What is it, Dan? Goodfellas. Goodfellas. Now, this is, a, this is from a scene that was um, from the Wise Guy prison. Uh, Paul Sorvino, Polly, uh, went to prison for a little while, of course, and this is a Wise Guy prison, meaning that it is like got all the comforts of home, great food, lobster, um, great drinks. And in this scene, Ray Liotta, or Henry, uh, has been uh, also picked up and nabbed and he has to go to prison for a bit and they're there and they're making this sauce so they like to call it gravy and this is a um, pasta sauce which is fabulous and he cuts the garlic up with a razor blade so that it melts in the the olive oil so it's wonderful I'm going to turn on this it is a fun movie. We have watched it, Dan. How many times have we watched Goodfellas? Lost count. Yeah. Uh, it's a great movie. I mean, obviously, you don't have to use the razor blade to cut your garlic. You can use a garlic press or you can use um, a knife, of course. But I just thought I'd do it with a razor blade. I mean, they have razor blades in uh, Wise Guy Prison. They have knives in Wise Guy Prison, so, you know, whatever. So we're going to get this. We've got a tablespoon of olive oil in here. And what I did beforehand was, here I have a pound of ground beef, a pound of uh, ground pork, or you can use veal. I don't, we don't eat veal, or at least I don't eat veal. And a ground, uh, and a pound of uh, Italian sausage. I have mild, and a pound is about four large sausages. And what I did was, um, I uh, fried them up. You want to fry them up in batches because what will happen if you put a lot of meat into your pan, it will boil, it will steam, it will not fry up. So do it in batches. It's best that way. Um, I have mild sausage in here, but I added a bit of uh, pepper flakes just to give it a kick. But you can use the Italian sausage that is um, spicy. You can do whatever you like. All right. So to this oil, I'm going to add the garlic. Now the garlic cannot burn nor can it even brown you want it you want to just have the garlic kiss the evoo the extra virgin olive oil so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to turn this down because i'm a little bit nervous about it being too hot and oh I'm, i want to show you this too in here is, are all the bits it this has so much flavor and we're going to be deglazing that with some wine later but you want to have that in the bottom of your pan okay in goes the garlic so again, it's only going to kiss the oil just to get it going. I'm saying like 30 seconds or whatever. And look at this. Already the aroma is incredible. So good. And that's it. To that, I'm going to add uh, three small onions or one large onion, whatever, chopped up. That goes in there. And a tablespoon of tomato paste a good heaping tablespoon of tomato paste all right so that's in there and we're going to give that a whiz and we're going to let the onions cook down a bit just get translucent again you don't want to them to brown necessarily it's not uh, in the recipe this is by the way this recipe is called uh, uh what's it called goodfellas prison sauce or gravy all right so this is going almost there oh, it smells so good okay so let me just turn this up a bit and we'll just get that going such a great movie and you know this feeds like 20 people eh? I mean, it's massive uh, amount of sauce but I guess uh, the Goodfellas prison had a lot of uh, wise guys yeah, a lot of wise guys to feed. It was so sad when Ray Liotta passed this year. Oh, tragic. And and uh, Paul Sorvino. These are such great actors. Shameful. 
Anyway, okay, so that's good. To that, we're going to deglaze it with some red wine. Deglazing means the, the wine, the liquid, you can use any kind of liquid, and we're using wine, that will bring up all the bits on the bottom. So you want to use your, your wooden spoon, and you want to use a good cast iron or a good uh, stainless steel pot, not a tin pot, because the, the acid from the tomatoes can have some sort of chemical reaction to it. So you, you take your spoon and you rub all of the uh, bits off of the bottom because that's a lot of flavor ends up in the bottom. That, oh, it smells so good. And it's almost there. There, oh, that's it, it's going. Okay, to that, we are going to add tomatoes. Did we talk about the tomatoes? No. Not yet. Okay, um, this recipe calls for San Mar Marizano tomatoes. Um, the DOP, now this, these are arguably some of the best canned tomatoes in the world. They are grown at the base of Mount Vesuvius in near Naples in Italy. They are traced, they have a number that it's, it's totally traceable where, where these uh, tomatoes come from. Um, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of tomatoes on the market that will say San Marzano on them. Um, but if they don't have the DOP, which is called what then? The okay, there you, did you say it loud enough? I don't think so. Okay, anyway, whatever. Look it up, it's on the internet. <laughs> yeah, and I'll, I'll write it underneath too. Anyway, the um, and serial number. yeah, has serial have number, both. yes, has to have both. A lot of products, a lot of companies will have um, San Marzano listed on their uh, label. If they don't have the serial number and it doesn't say DOP, it's not. And if they say that they are uh, San Marzano tomatoes that are diced or uh, pureed, these only come whole, whole plum tomatoes. And what I did was, these are two cans in here. I took my hands and I crushed them all up. So it's crushed up tomatoes. So two cans of, um, the big cans of the San Marzano tomatoes. If you can't afford them, they, they can be very pricey. I have seen these as high as $8, $9, I believe. Um, it's outrageous, that kind of money. What you want to do is try to find them at the supermarket for about six, even six is a lot. But I get them at um, Bruchichi, Bruchichi. Bruchichi, which is in St. Leonard in Montreal. And uh, I buy them in bulk, so they work out to about $4 a, tin, a can. But you can get regular, you can use regular tomatoes too. I mean, that's entirely up to you. Okay, there we have that going. For the gravy, we're going to add all the meat. This is a lot of meat. Look at this. <laughs> it's great. I mean, it doesn't take a long time to make. Well, it <laughs> Jeez. I was going, I was doing so well then, so well. Oh dear. Anyway, okay, so we're going to mix this up. I want to take a look in here. That's all the meat. I might add some water to this yeah, or like some thick sauce. Thick sauce, yeah. yeah. Oh. I think I'm going to add some uh, either tomato sauce that I have in the pantry or some water even. I think I'm going to do that because this is really thick. Okay, so that takes care of that. That is going to sit there. We're going to add um, some carrots. Unusual, but this will bring a little bit of sweetness to it. You want to cut your carrots up. You want to peel them first and cut them up into big chunks so you can take them, so you can take them out afterwards because you don't want to serve a, a uh, plate of pasta with ca a carrot in it. So this will just, you know, it'll give you that little bit of uh, sweetness and bring uh, some flavor to the sauce look at this okay some uh basil you the recipe calls for fresh basil i didn't have any fresh basil i'm going to use about two teaspoons of the uh dried maybe a little more uh we're going to do the salt and pepper afterwards uh when it's done to see uh how it tastes if it's salty enough or you know there's there's often there's salt in the ingredients uh, that you put in here. Okay, that. 
and this is going to sit on the stove i'm going to bring it to a simmer a simmer not a boil you're going to simmer it for three hours um on the stove with no no top on it um, you're going to ever so often you're going to take your wooden spoon and you're going to mix it you don't want the uh, bottom of your sauce to burn because that will really ruin your sauce or your gravy as they like to say um, so you want to you know you cannot walk away from this three hours sit down watch goodfellas <laughs> and then come and check on this every ever so often every time the gun goes off you can come and check which is quite often in the movie all right and then in the last hour in the second hour i'm going to add meatballs now um it's a good time to make these meatballs while you're you're uh getting your salsa together um i have a recipe for these meatballs they're going to be up here i'm going to have the link to it here you can make your own you can buy your some meatballs and throw them in uh or you can um uh, you can buy frozen ones or fresh ones uh that goes in the last in the last hour so an hour or two you put them in and you let them cook and uh da, 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 that's it all right so i will see you in about three hours and you will see me in about 30 seconds and go watch that movie paul servino ray liotta robert de niro joe pesci lorraine bracco academy award winning movie see you guys later welcome back everybody here we have it the goodfellas uh prison pasta sauce or gravy as they call it wonderful it cooked for three hours i put the uh, meatballs in in hour two and it cooked for another hour after that i have to tell you i did add some uh quality uh pasta sauce that i had in the tomato sauce that i had in the pantry because it was a little thick um so you can choose to do that just check it yourself i'm going to take out the carrots now they're in here somewhere it's a good thing they're big so i can see them there they are okay so i am putting it on some really good quality pasta this is italian pasta uh, it has ridges on it you want to get a uh, pasta that has the ridges and the holes in it uh, i mean you can use spaghetti too but this is really great for this kind of pasta so what i'm going to do to begin with is put a little bit of sauce on here put some evoo just to make it a little creamier i'm going to just move that in a bit and you want to put, cook your pasta al dente which is uh, usually it says how long you should cook it on the on the pasta package so follow those so let me get some pasta sauce or gravy as the wise guys like to call it there's a meatball there let me get another meatball and there we have it look how gorgeous we're going to put a little bit of parm freshly grated parm i mean this this is going <laughs> this this freezes really well by the way and this is going to feed an army i mean we're going to have this for a long time it freezes really really well in the fridge in the freezer for about two and a half months or two months okay let's give it a try the, the apartment smells beautiful hey eh, dan gorgeous yes, it does. Mm. so good three hours forget about it forget about it took three hours but the wise guys in prison had enough time in their hands so they were able to cook it for three hours don't know if i want to do it every time but it certainly is worth it this is absolutely lovely gorgeous anyway i hope you try this watch the movie look for our next episode of more oscar winning movies recipes from <laughs> recipes from oscar winning movies uh, we have a whole bunch uh, planned and they're fun, fun, fun. So um, if you like, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, spread the word, uh, be good to yourself, be good to others. Um, what else? That's it. Forget the mess. Of course. Forget, Forget the mess. About Forget about it. See you next time. <laughs>